no crumbs in my truck. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Dude, I got like 60 bags of chips. Here, here, here. Let's go. I don't have time for shenanigans. Last time I was out here, dude, we were freaking, absolutely freaking wrecking them. <laughs> There's so many freaking fish out here. Bo or Jackson? Jackson. Yeah, I went. You got one? Oh, shoot! Get up here! Get up here! Get up here! Did he come off? Yep. Did your line break? Yes. Are you serious? I literally tied that bit on yesterday, bro. Dang. All right, here, hang on. What was that? Huh? What was it, a booyah? Yeah. At least it really, I thought it was big. It really wasn't that big. It was like a pound and a half. Here, pick you one out. I don't know why it came off so good. I don't know. Is that mine? I could have boat flipped him. Yeah, you really could have. I thought he was bigger, and then when I saw him, I was like, oh. these trees and then we're gonna go on the we're gonna push that edge see if maybe they're sitting up against that stuff mm -hmm. oh come on man we should have had like four fish in the boat by now mm -hmm. serious oh I know what it is I don't have my shoes on Fish. Oh, it's a big one. Swallowed it. It's a weird hook that he swam out from that stump. Yeah, man, Barely hooked. Barely, don't grab the line. Grab his lip, grab his lip! <laughs> Throw him in. Yes! That's a big one. Oh Dude. man, he was barely hooked. Dude, did you see that? I threw it up against that stump right there. And I went to go drag and I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a fish. Look that at this. That's a toad. Look at how, look at how he's hooked. You freaking rip my head. I tried to grab him by his gills. I felt it. His, so, gill, his gills wouldn't come out, so I had to. So like when I when he turned right there, I felt the hook move, and I was like, "Oh shoot, <laughs> that's huge." 
Let me see how much this guy weighs. Yeah. He's going. Yeah. That's solid six. Easy. He's, he's. I mean, like, yeah, it's long and everything, but he really ain't that big. Like, he's. He's, he's got a little bit like. Mm. Five and a half. I'm shaking. It says six point two. Let me do it one more time. That's a big thing. Six. Six three. Nice. Shallow one right there. Six freaking three pounds. Six point three pounds. That's awesome. Well I know, I guess we're gonna be flipping trees the rest of the day. <laughs> Dad gum. Where'd you get that one yet? Right there next to that tree. Throw up against that tree. That top? Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's go back and fish that stump one more time. Uh, so this is a really deep, steep bank right here. And there's a stump in the water about to turn. Maybe you can see it. That stump right there. As you can see, I flipped on it. And I just let line out because I knew it was deep. It's like 15 foot right there. And... Uh, I went tight and he was swimming to me and it was a weird hook set and I, I literally like when I set the hook like and he came right here I saw my line going in the back of his throat and I was like oh my gosh I was like it's in I was like he swallowed it and then when he turned I literally felt the hook move like I, I felt it like jump back to the front of his lip yeah. and that's that's what that was Caught them all? Boy, that was just a busting out water right there. Really? You know, we hadn't. Oh, shoot. That's a bass. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Get your swim bait out. Wait, don't you have. Wait, do you have bro? Okay. Look at him. Here, you throw this and I'll throw this. What? You got enough juice on it. Eat him in. <laughs> Second one of the day is a six of is one six of that bass I just caught. Hmm. Top water. All right, guys, it is hot as mess. What is it, like 90, probably? Maybe more, like 95. It's too hot for this. Um, I got old girl in the live well, hoping I was gonna catch a couple more. Maybe get a cool picture. She hasn't been in there long. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and release her though, and probably go ahead and scoot. We might, we might try out a couple more coves, but let's go ahead and let her go real quick. She weighs 6.3. She's long as mess, dude. 
That's one of the longest bass I've ever caught, seriously. That thing is long as all get out. We're gonna grab a couple pictures with her and then let her go. Good night, dude. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'd give anything if this fish was fat. Come on. Look at her. Good lord, dude. Come on. Go. Straight down she goes. Sick. All right, you're good. I forgot to mention, be sure to stay to the end of the video and I will talk about the uh, couple baits that we caught fish on today. All right, guys, so it is actually a couple days later. I don't know how I am. I am slacking on the intros. Uh, I changed bait, so let me see if I can find the Oh, I was using. Got it. All right, so the tackle I was throwing that on was a 3 alt trocar mag worm hook which I usually don't flip with. Usually I flip with a, uh, a flipping hook, but I was using a ribbon tail and I didn't feel like tying on a new hook. And uh, so I just went with the, the mag hook, but uh, I really wish I would have went with the flipping hook because as y'all could tell, I mentioned I felt it. So when he, when the fish first picked it up, it was in the back of its throat, but uh, a wide gap can sometimes act like a circle hook. Like it'll only sometimes hook it towards the front of its mouth when it has time to curl and go up because it's so level it doesn't really stab straight up like a flipping hook does but then again that helps more with hooking in the throat like a circle hook does but it's not really what it's designed for but anyways but it kind of acts like that so i kind of wish i had a flipping hook though because i felt it when i felt it move and so i literally watched it go to the corner of his mouth from the back of his throat to the corner of his mouth and he scared me so i, I kind of wish i had a flipping hook on in that moment that way it just stayed in the roof of his mouth but uh but anyway so it all worked out but uh I'm going to take this crawl off first. And, uh, well, I guess I didn't really need to do that, but this is the plastic. Oh, by the way, 3 8 ounce tungsten flipping weight, uh, pegged, 20-pound uh, fluorocarbon, 7-2 medium heavy rod, 7-2-1 gear ratio reel. Um, and the soft plastic I was using was a Rage Space Monkey Watermelon Red Flake 4-inch. Uh, I've used a V&M bait that works, that's almost very, it's very, very similar to this. It has like some ribs in it. This one doesn't have any ribs, uh, but it has the same type of appendages on it. Uh, at Ufall, I've used that before at Ufall in the past summers. I've fished there and it does real well. So I saw this and I was like, I bet that'll work too. And, uh, and you know, as y'all could tell, I flipped on that thing and I was just starting to let out line so it would fall straight down that log. And he must've been, he must've picked it up before it hit the bottom because I never saw a tick. Like usually what you do is you stare at your line and you wait for your line to like stop moving and that means that it's hit the bottom. So when I saw it stop moving, I think that was him picking it up because it wasn't, usually you can see it hit the bottom and then you'll see a pop and that usually means it hit the bottom and then a fish picked it up. But in this case, all I saw was it falling and it just stopped and I think he had it then and when I went to go drag it, he was swimming out and it was a, I mean it was a weird hook set but it got him in. Glad I got him in. Uh, probably one of the biggest fish so far this year. Uh, definitely the longest. That thing was long as mess. Giving it that thing was fat. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you'll uh, subscribe and like and comment. And uh, we'll catch you next time on an episode of PB Outdoors. Woo! Yeah! That's what's up! Give me some! Uh, give me some! That's a, that's an easy 20, dude. Yes, dude, give me some. Oh, give me some. Yes. I'm gonna get a picture.
and then we'll get the release. There he goes. Yes, dude. Oh, dude, I'm so happy.